Welcome back to your live, be terrific, continuing coverage of the 2015 New York International Auto Show on Be Terrific. I'm Michael Artis. Thanks so much for watching. And Jenny and DP are watching. Jenny's in Finland watching this. DP's in Texas. I know they're loving it, but they're also a great part of the team. You know sending in questions, saying things, and also alerting us to technical issues and difficulties which happen. So you too are a great member of the team and keep being a great member of the team. And thank you for watching. Thanks for making Be Terrific special. We've got some great guests here. You know, there's a really, really rich heritage to a car company called Dodge. You, you remember that Super Bowl commercial about celebrating 100 years and that spirit that Dodge has and that relentless pursuit of speed and technology and innovation and really it was about creating something spectacular and no retreat, no surrender. Well, we've got Marianne and Matt from Dodge here. We got to talk about Mopar and Hemi, but let's start with some family stuff because that stuff gets Hemi engines too and gets really jacked up as well. You guys have a really awesome truck, the Durango. And I loved the Durango from the day it came out. And I think the Durango set the tone and the styling cues for Dodge for about a decade. And now, uh, and that was in the 90s, and now uh, we're seeing a whole new Durango, and we're seeing the trucks bigger and better than ever. But tell me about the Durango. Well, we have a Durango um, RT on the floor here today at the New York Auto Show. And what we're presenting are the new uh, Radar Red Napa leather seats. And they're, they look great, they're really hot. Um, we actually launched this in the Durango uh, because we've gotten great feedback from customers after showing it as a prototype at the SEMA show in 2013. I, I love red interior. I think, I mean, it goes great with so many colors, navy, black, white, silver. Red interior just really shines. So I'm really excited about this. And of course, Be Terrific is black and red, so Oh, you know, it it's, it's, it's like Be Terrific Red. I know that's not what you're calling it, but that's the way I see it. Well, we're calling it Radar Red. I know, I got you. Basically on RT, you're going to get the embroidered RT seats. You're also going to get on RT the 5.7 uh, liter Hemi V8 engine Whew. with our best in class uh, a horsepower of 360. Um, also best in class towing I was on gonna the say Durango. That. Uh, 7,400 pounds of towing on uh, the Dodge Durango 7, RT. 7,400 pounds of towing in the yes. Durango RT. Yes, you that's definitely can tow your uh, your big boat that you have, Michael, because oh. I know you have one. <laughs> you know what, that's one thing I probably will never have, no matter what. <laughs> uh, I am deathly afraid of being on a boat, it's sinking, and then it's not the uh, boat, boom. it's, I know, this is. T <laughs> we just went from be terrific to be horrible. But here's the <laughs> thing, I am deathly afraid of being, um, on, the, on a boat, the, it's, it's completely irrational. The boat sinking, it's not the boat sinking that I'm afraid of, it's then being in the water with the sharks. Okay, yeah, well. Right, not that I don't know how to swim, but uh, if you're 500 miles from land, you're not out swimming <laughs> the sharks. Well, as far as a Durango, it yeah. would help you get out of the water. It would. it's totally capable, <laughs> and if I can bring it back to the Durango. But, but that's why I like cars so much, and trucks, because I like, you get the speed and the visceral effect you might get on a boat, except you get it on land, and when you talk about like a yacht or something, you get the luxury features in a Durango that you would get in a yacht, in a car, in a truck. Well, and we recently just launched talking about you know latest in technology. Um, we have a rear seat in entertainment with uh, Blu-ray, Blu right? Blu-ray, correct. With so Blu-ray, how convenient. I mean, I'm a mom, and uh, my daughter. How many kids you got? I got one, but yeah, my yeah. daughter's particular, and she loves her movies. And, and it has to be good quality. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Um, so definitely, she's watching her movie in the house, and what if we she go on like? a road trip, we are um, watching that movie on the road trip. What what what's she like? Well, she's is fourteen, this? so she's a teenager. Okay, so she's so not, it's not cartoons. It, Right, at this point not, in time, but right. we went through all those years of all the sure. cartoons. And now I know why she the Blu-ray is so important. She's right. got to she's got to see exactly how Matthew McConaughey looks. Correct. She, oh, wanted, all she the wants to know detail. all the detail of yeah. uh, those males. So, right. Absolutely. Uh, but also, um, for those people that don't have Blu-ray, we do. Yeah. It does also play standard DVDs, um, so sure. it has that flexibility. And also, what's really key with um, kids and families is, you know, keep your kids entertained on that road trip or as you're driving around. If you got 
uh, kids in the second row and kids in the third row of the Seven Passioner Durango, you'll be able to have twins watching the movie in the second row, and if they wanted to play a game on Xbox, uh, you could do that as well. Wow. So it provides that flexibility to I, keep everybody happy. Everybody happy is right. I want to play Xbox. I mean, could you imagine? We didn't get, I didn't get this when I was a kid. You didn't get no, it. it didn't, no. Uh, well, imagine playing Xbox. Wait a second. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, it might have been around when you were a kid. No, I know your daughter's a teenager. It's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I would have loved to have played Xbox in the back of the car going like anywhere. We, we well, you can do it today and you can do it on a Dodge Durango. I like it. I like it. And, and the Durango's got, it's got really beefy big wheels. How big are the wheels? Are we talking like 20 inch rims? So yes, definitely 20 inch rims. And today also, thanks for bringing that up. Um, we actually have a new wheel on the RT. Okay. And it is a high gloss um, granite crystal. It's a sporty wheel, and it um, complements the rest of the exterior of the RT. And that's a 20-inch rim as well? Yep. And And you got nice, it, the, they're not too low profile, but they're lower profile, nice tires that look great. That's correct. What, what are we talking about brake-wise? This car can stop really quick too, can Absolutely it? Absolutely it can. Yeah. And this um, car also has a sports suspension. So working around the whole sports um, theme of the RT, you've got your sports suspension. You also have a lower clearance. It's um, lower 20 uh, millimeters. Nice. Uh, to give that nice stance and that stability. Excellent. Uh, what a Dodge truly should be. That's really awesome. How did you get to Dodge? How did you get into the car business? Well, I grew up in Detroit. And I started working at Chrysler. 313? Um, like 313 area code at one time. There you yes. go. It's currently 248, yeah, but yes, 313 in the beginning. But I, I mean, I knew you, because, well, I should have said 248 because I, I, you're, you're young enough, but you probably had a 313 in the beginning. I did, actually. Yeah. Um, so you grew up in Detroit. I grew up in Detroit, up in Detroit yeah. and um, after college, really even before college, I've always worked in the automotive industry, have been with Chrysler uh, or FCA for Were your parents uh, in the automotive years. industry? Absolutely, yes. And, and did, my did, dad was you, an engineer. Would he bring home like the coolest new things? Oh, always. We're so lucky and fortunate that we get to um, get all the latest and greatest cars and we get to show the public even before they're actually on the market oh, I'm sometimes. I'm so jealous of Detroit. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. I really enjoy and, it. And do you live in Detroit today? Oh, of course, yep. Very I work cool. at the headquarters um, for FCA for where the Dodge brand is. Very nice. And and Matt, let's talk. You guys have, of course, uh, so first of all, let's take a step back. All One right. of my favorite TV shows when I was a kid was Dukes of Hazard. Mine too. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, awesome, uh, and and I wanted to be Bo, or I don't. I think I wanted to be Bo. I don't know Bo if I want to be Luke or Bo, but I wanted to be. I, I had like Daisy. Well, you didn't want to, <laughs> right? Daisy, <laughs> I could say I wanted to be Daisy. Right, exactly. Okay. So I I wanted. The, I had the I had the pair of cowboy boots, and I would literally get into my mother's uh, Nissan Maxima through the window. <laughs> I would. I'd make her roll down the window, and I'd like hop in. Um. Sometimes dive in because it was easier as a kid than like straddling in. So how fun? Uh, yeah. Um, so, I love the Dukes of Hazard, which means I love the uh, the General Lee, um, and and then I love the Challenger. All right, and and of course, if you love the Challenger, you gotta love the Charger. You guys have two new Challenger Charger models. We have uh, well, the whole lineup is in re refresh for 2015. Everything from the 300 horsepower V6 all the way up to the uh, 707 horsepower Hellcat. And we have the uh, Charger Hellcat. 707 horsepower? 707. It's a 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8. Wow. Just won one of Ward's 10 best engines, one of the top new features in the Tawas Auto Riders Association. It is phenomenal. Who? Absolutely incredible. Are they your brakes? Are they Brembo's? Are they somebody else's? Who's braking the car? I'm always in, into brakes because you got. I love speed, but you got to be able to stop. So on both Hellcat models, yeah. we have standard uh, six piston, 15.4 inch in the front Brembo brakes with red brake calibers. Love it. Oh, right. Lot of stopping yes. power. And yes. we couple those with uh, 20 by nine and a half inch forged aluminum wheels and two finishes. It's wow. phenomenal. What are the tires? What are we, what are we getting the tires? Uh, two, I think 275, 245, 245, 245, 245s. 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 Awesome. And uh, either three season or all season. Okay. What would I want? All season? Three season. Let's go with three season. We'll take a risk in the winter. So throw the winter tires. I will tell you, winter. I landed in Chicago a couple years ago uh, for a shoot, and it, it was, like, nice out, and they handed me the keys to a Charger. I was so excited, and it started to snow like crazy, and I survived a Chicago winter snowstorm, which it got really bad out, okay. in a Charger, rear-wheel drive, no problem, and had a lot of fun doing it, too. 
You know, we have some phenomenal uh, stability control systems that work with the rear wheel drive in all weather. But for the they people, they work that until you turn them off. They do. And we, <laughs> we on the uh, the SRT on the Hellcats, we have three mode ESC. You can turn it all the way off to have a lot of fun. But we also have all wheel drive available on the Charger with yeah. 300 horsepower V6. And for the all weather capability with 19 inch wheels and 27 miles per gallon, it is a fully capable uh, Charger four wheel muscle car with all wheel drive. Wow. That is awesome. So you've got the Charger and the Challenger Hellcat that are basically the same. They're the, basically the same setup, different body styles, a little bit different interior, but but they're the same setup. Correct. Two, uh, two doors or four doors. The one thing with the Challenger, you do have the optional six-speed manual transmission. Okay. Um, we also, on the Charger, it comes standard with the Torque Flight eight-speed automatic transmission, which surprisingly, with that much power, 22 miles per gallon highway. Really? Absolutely. That's very impressive. Can you, can, you get the, can you get the rubber going in the automatic, or do you need, because I, I feel like I need the manual just to get to burn a little rubber. No problem. Mary is not happy is, with this conversation. The trick is turn off. Turn you're, off. you're good? You're good? You, you like burning rubber? Oh, of course I do. What's the trick? Turn off the oh. ESC. Why wouldn't I? I love the attitude. I like to have fun, too. Excellent. You will squeal them and light them up with the ESC on. You turn the ESC button off, and yeah. you're going to go burn through your uh, pocketbook quicker than you can imagine. <laughs> I love that. They go quick. Yes, and let's just say if you're going to do that, find a nice wide open space like a parking lot. Nobody, no obstructions, nothing you can damage. Have some fun. That's okay. Just don't hurt anybody. Absolutely. Be safe about and, it. And the fun thing on the Charger is uh, if you go over there and look, right behind the rear wheels are a set of uh, cooling ducts that allow the smoke to even billow out further. You guys think of everything. Have you have you burned some rubber? Of course I have. You have? Yeah. I don't get to do it every day. It's part day, of working yeah. a Dodge. But I think, yeah, we get uh, It's in the heritage, right? We get time to go out on tracks and test out our vehicles ourselves, so perfect opportunity to do wow. it. Wow, I like that. All right, and, and the Viper still exists, and it's Viper a Viper does. 101, uh, so you like, it's not, it's, it, what I like about this is like, the Viper is a very special car. It's always been a special car, uh, and, and, and I, I've always liked the way the Viper has looked. Um, but now you can customize this Viper and you go through a whole ordering process. So it's really your Viper. You make it yours. We still have the, uh, the standard Vipers that are available as they have been. Uh, but we came out this year and said, you know, what do we do? Viper is still the king. It is power uh, to weight ratio. It's still the leader. We have 707 horsepower uh, supercharged, but it's still the, the naturally aspirated V10. Uh, on the track, 206 mile an hour top speed. Said, so how do we take everything that's special, hand built in Detroit, handcrafted, um, over 500 you know hours in the paint special. process? Hand built, handcrafted in Detroit. There aren't very many things no. that are hand built and handcrafted in the United States of America anymore. Absolutely. And and especially when it comes to vehicles, that's something really special. So now we, we took that to the next seven and said, okay, we had the Viper 101 program, and we allow the customer to sign up. They get to pick uh, from 8,000 paint colors. 8,000. They select what they want. We send them an eight scale replica. It shows up Be at the door. terrific red. You got that? We got it. You Excellent. can name it what you want. Put your order in. We'll take it now. You name your car. We put a customized one on one dash badge on the, uh, uh, on the IP. And after that, that combination of color, interiors, wheels is, is gone. No one else can order it. It's yours and yours alone. Wow. I like so that exclusive. idea. It's exclusive it is to exclusive. You. I, you know, the one thing I've always found about the Viper is it's really comfortable. Uh, and I, I think that people don't realize it's a very comfortable sports car. You know, it is. It's it's. Uh, some people claim it not as a daily driver, and depending on where you live, it's it's what muscle cars are about. It's raw. It's visceral. It, you get in and you feel it. And you feel the run. You have fun driving. Here's it. my thing. I, I've always said this. I'm a car guy. I'm a car guy who wants to drive the vehicles. So I say, listen, if you are going to get a vehicle like a Viper. In my mind, you drive it. And you might not drive it every single day because of weather or because you have to take the family somewhere or because of whatever, but drive it a lot. And, and enjoy so, it. And enjoy it. And I, you can do that with the bike. Oh, absolutely. Which is, which is great. And there's still some space in the back to put a, uh, a weekend bag. So go yeah. out and have some fun. What, what is your, uh, what's your story? How did you get to Dodge? I grew up in the automotive industry in Detroit, similar to Marianne. You were 248. I was, two, well, I was 313 in the beginning. Yeah. We and live close to each other. Yeah. And we 313, 313, went to 248. Um, you know, fathers, uncles. Uh, You're Lions fans then, both of you. And Red Wings? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. It's Hockey Pistons. Town. Of course. It's Hockey Town. The Pistons. Yeah, Pistons. But is it the bad boys? The Pistons bad boys? No. We got yeah, Rodman. Is that, that, was, that yeah, yeah. That was the day. Rodman Isaiah and, and Isaiah. Yeah, yeah sure. Joe. But right now it's all about Michigan State and this weekend. I bet. That's right. You guys got to be pretty pumped so. about that. Yeah. Well, 
we watching? I saw we Magic are. at the game. Did he you was? He was there. For us, right? Uh, I, yes. We, I'll, tell well, I'll tell you why. Well, I'll tell you why. Uh, Duke's won enough. Uh, uh, Coach K's got, he's got enough, right? And I'm an underdog kind of guy. So you're and not pulling for Kentucky then? Oh, no, I'd like Kentucky. I, I w I'm kind of Kentucky over Wisconsin because I love the passion of their fan base and Ashley Judd's passion. It's fun to watch. Um, so I want Kentucky versus Michigan State and then Michigan State because they're such a, a great story and such an underdog. What do I think? I think it's going to be Duke and Kentucky, Kentucky. and Duke. Uh, but I hope that'd be a, re a rematch of uh, the Leitner days. With and shot, uh, you know, to me, the, the Leitner days were amazing. Well, I went to Indiana, so we can't have Kentucky win. That's uh, an absolute <laughs> no no. <laughs> All right, so you grew up in Michigan, and you're and you're Red Wings fans, Tigers fans, Lions all fans, all of it. You're right. Um, and 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 then so you were in the kind of in the car industry as I a kid too. I grew up around the industry, yeah. and uh, after college, I said, you know, let's try something else. And I lasted about nine months in the consulting <laughs> world and supply chain. And I said absolutely not, and uh, uh, went to work for Chrysler and the. Chicago Business Center at the time, calling on dealers, and uh, from there, it's nice. history. And and what is your favorite car of all time? Of all time, yeah. probably the Viper. I mean, that when I uh, I first drove a Viper when I was 15 with a learner's permit, and from then on, it's sunk in. I mean, that yeah. was back then. You know, you think about it. Today's Charger, our entry level Charger, had up to 300 horsepower V6. Who let you have the keys with a learner's permit? And a Viper has 400 horsepower. When I mean, th this is the date when Viper yeah. came out. If you remember, that was the iconic car. I had a, I had 400 a, horsepower. I had a friend who had a Venom Viper from Hennessy. From Hennessy, they, they took it right to Hennessy. Hennessy goes. <laughs> And, you know, however many dollars later, it's now, I mean, back then it was 700 horsepower, yeah. 800 horsepower. But 20 years ago, I mean, yeah. our top-of-the-line muscle cars had 400. Now our, our entry level had 300, and, you know, we're up to 707. And where does it go from here? It, it's... But how you, can you not love it? You it's drove it at 15. Fun. That must with a learner's permit. And I still remember I scared. Uh, I I was going from third to fourth, and I downshifted and hit second, and it was a mess. <laughs> what happened then? I just put it back in gear and kept going. It was Ooh, you figured got it out lucky. quick. Wow, and, and your favorite all-time car? Well, I'm going to go with uh, the Durango. I actually drive that right yeah. now. And All-time, that's your favorite? Everything your dad brought home when you were a kid and everything that's your favorite? I mean, the Durango's well, awesome, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, you grew up well, in Detroit. the Viper, of course. I mean, there's only, it's one of the kind. So that's, Viper, I mean, that's very true. We have no other driving machine like it. All right, I, I, I can't but argue I with that. I love my Durango. <laughs> I'm a mom now. No, but I. It's a family vehicle. I love the Durango too. I really do. Uh, I think it's a great car. And I love the trucks, uh, and and it, well, it's a truck. But I, I mean, I love the truck trucks, the pickup trucks. Uh, it, but I think the Durango is great, and and it's it's actually a truck. I, there are very few trucks I would like to own or or want to own, and the Durango is one of them. Well, it's what I drive it. as well. It's my and daily yeah, driver. Both, it's your we daily both drive it today. Yeah. I've got you know two kids. We throw the skis in it every weekend heading up wow. north. That the all-wheel drive. You don't have to worry about anything. You and have the Blu-ray too. We do. It's <laughs> fantastic. The kids don't go you anywhere guys are without so it. So lucky. I want I, now. I, I have Blu-ray envy. I want a I want a Durango with Blu-ray. We got to make that happen. Let's it's talk. All Flip right. up, hide them. And get All right. What color, what color combinations? You got to have something. I actually fun. got the red cherry. You do. Yep, with the black interior. I like that. Granite crystal with black. All right, that's good too. Yeah. I, black is They're both is good looking. is the, like the standard. Like that's my first choice in, in interior, unless I'm doing red, I guess. But uh, black is like literally my first choice in interior. Red's bold though on the exterior, especially. You know, I would worry that I get pulled over too. <laughs> I mean, the car's fast. It is. Definitely see, she's is. been she's like looking yeah, I got that look. If she's been pulled, in Detroit her whole life. She knows over, a couple of people. If I get pulled over, I usually get away. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. You know a couple I think of people. You guys just smile and I talk pleasantly and I'm lucky. You're, you are lucky. Yeah. That, uh, that doesn't work for but me. The, the best thing about the Durango is the sound. When you start that oh. Hemi V out, <laughs> V8 out, oh, sounds like a, a, a muscle car from the 60s. It's great. Yes. People know, I mean, the, the night, when you hit the remote start in the morning, the neighbors hear it. It's the remote start. That's what we needed this winter. I, oh, Durango with a remote start. You have to get into a warm car. I, I agree. I use it every it turns morning. Turns the heated seats on for you. Give you a heated up, steering wheel. Yeah, we do. It, it, oh, it turns so. it on for you with the remote See, start. See, because I'm past the heated seats. The well, heated seats are like standard in my mind. It's us morning. coming out of winter, yeah. just right from my kitchen. We had a Detroit winter in New York. Oh, yeah. The cars Coldest garage, February in our history in 80 years. In 10 minutes when I get into the car, it's all warm for you. Oh, your daughter must love that. On the way to school, she's warm. That's 
Correct. I so. mean, you love it too, but your daughter must really love it. I think both of us do. <laughs> I would never give it up. I would never give it up. Yeah, I can't imagine that. All right, well, guys, thank you so much. Uh, Dodge is awesome. You guys are awesome. The Durango's insane. And, I mean, the Challenger, the Charger, many different models, and then the Viper. And you can customize the Viper. Absolutely. Yeah. They're, they're fun. And we also, for the people that don't want 707 horsepower, we have the Scat Pack models out this year. Yeah. 485 horsepower. Yeah. The best uh, combination of power. I don't think it's under really. Under $40,000. I think it's really not, you don't want 700 horsepower. I think it's you might not be able to afford it or the insurance bill that comes with yeah, it. That, there you go. That's one thing. Or or you maybe the only reason you wouldn't want it, I think, is you don't want to, you, you want to be good to the environment and you don't want to burn more gas. And not, I'm not saying it's not efficient. I'm just saying you burn more gas with 700 horsepower than you do with 400 horsepower. Well, we also have the 485 horsepower, 6.4 liter Hemi V8, or the 5.7 liter, 370 horsepower Hemi V8, both which get 25 miles per gallon highway. There are way too many choices. There's Standard A speed, choices. no gas guzzler. You're efficient. You're helping the earth. They mm -hmm. shut down to four cylinders when you don't need them on the highway. So we have the you know the best of both worlds. You get your raw muscle car power, but you get fuel economy and family seating. Does anybody know more about these cars than you guys? Seriously, I hope I'm not. Very I'm doing not. our job, yeah. right? Probably not. I'm and very then, impressed. And if I can just add, though, across yes. our lineup, we also have the black top appearance packages. Okay. Um, so you can get that on a Durango. What you is the black top appearance charge. package? So you're gonna get um, a black grill. You're gonna get uh, black wheels. So that blacked out look. Um, from can I get that exterior, sinister, murdered out look? Interior. Um, you know, I like that look. It's been in high cool. demand, and it's been quite popular, and we're, it's doing great for the whole lineup. I, so you should really check that out. I and really it, like that. It's actually offered at a great value. I like that. I like that look, the black top look. Oh, that's a good package. All right. This is your live, continuing, Be Terrific coverage of the 2015 New York International Auto Show on Be Terrific. I'm Michael Artis. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. Stay with us.